guys, a uh, little update. We're on 301, heading north still. It is 1218, so it's actually Friday morning. And I did fill up, again, I topped off uh, in Riverview. Stopped off there to uh, get a couple of things at a Walmart that was open. Got some more the soda and just checking to see if there's a few little things that we'd like to buy extra that we just want. Um, but I want to show you our range. Uh, people were wondering, like, how do you get 400 miles? Well, I've been driving now probably about 20 minutes on the interstate, and about 25 30 miles already on this tank, and show them stuff. Yeah, guys, see, we got. 408 miles on our range. I know those things are not super accurate, but on my calculations when I fill up and I do my little log and everything, I'm getting pretty close to about plus or, you know, minus about 25% off of that. So, but still, we that's still about 350, 400 miles on normal we can have on a range but we also wanted to talk to you about our GPS and the in the van here we have um, an Android radio that is basically we hit the home looks like your cell phone guys you know it's got all your apps and everything right here you can get Facebook you can get on email you can do everything that you normally would be doing um, but one of the things that we really like, just kind of set up just like a phone here, is um, is Waz. Um, a lot of people like Google Maps and all that. We we can run Google Maps on this device uh, on this radio, but I would prefer because uh, it does run Android, I think 5.2 or something. Um, I prefer Waz. Uh, I like the fact that it tells me my speed limit right here. The little thing there tells me the speed limit. It tells me how fast I'm going. As you can see, I'm doing the speed limit. I have the Ram on uh, cruise control. It tells me when I'm going to be getting to Zephyr Hills, uh, where we are. Another thing, whenever we get somewhere, I'll show you. I'll put in a little clip here uh, about when we get to certain places that have cops, it'll actually tell you when there's a police officer. Um, the, it'll actually tell you when there's um, construction. It actually tells you a lot more information than Google Maps. I, I just I think it's more interactive. And if you haven't tried Waz, it's free. You can download it on your Android phone and your uh, iPhone platform. But everybody's wondering how the roads are. We just got off 75 South, and there was traffic on there. It's not stop and go. We were doing the speed limit. Everybody was doing the speed limit. But now we're on 301, and as you can see, guys, uh, we didn't see a car for... There's some deer. I don't know if you can see that on the... just caught a little Yeah, there's around. some deer, so... Um, but I'm doing the speed limit and we're just cruising and there's nobody on the road. Out of gas. Stuff is getting real. And that's going off because I don't have my seatbelt. Not because we're out of gas, we're full, but I need to put my seatbelt on. We made it to another gas station that looks like it still has probably a little bit of gas left. So even though we're full, we are going to top off. Like I said, we really don't need gas. The thing says we have 
422 miles on the range finder. Well, let's see how much we can put in there because they have gas and it's 269. Well, that's it. Well, I guess 1.8 gallons is 1.8 gallons. More than what I had. Two in there. I know this they say is not good to do, but I need every bit of gas I can get. I don't want it to spew out. I and I also don't want to be stuck in Florida. I got two gallons. Alright, good job. Since we're here in Zephyr Hills and we filled up with gas the rest of the way, we decided we'd get some more things at Walmart so we don't have to get out in the morning. But it's looking a little bare here too, guys. No water. This thing's working, but there's no water bottles. Just a couple things. I got some donuts. One of the things we're going to switch out is the headlights. Um, I'm just gonna put the more expensive bulbs in there. These are the best here at Walmart. I'm sure there's some LED, HID, blah, 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 that's better, but we're gonna try these $45 ones out to see what they'll do. So Walmart's quiet tonight. Well. We went in and spent uh, $121. See how these headlights look when we put them in. Haven't really had a problem with the headlights. They both work. Just in the low beam is a little, just not that bright. And I turn on the high beams and it'll blind everybody from here to next week. So we just thought maybe try out some new headlights guys I don't know if you can tell it's brighter or not but one of these is brighter let's do the other one these are the lights I went with I don't know we'll see it's got to be better than they were but to the naked eye I can't tell a difference but We'll see when we're driving down the road. We made it. We're parked for the night. We're at a friend's house. Tomorrow we're going to help board up their windows and possibly get out of Dodge.